today, we've got Mr. Doug here. And before we get started, we are going to play a game of Would You Rather. All right, kids, so this is how it's going to work. We're going to ask Mr. Doug the question, Would You Rather? And two things. And I want you to give your best guess and shout it out which one you think he's going to choose. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. All right, Mr. Doug, would you rather A, be incredibly funny or B, be incredibly smart? All right, kids, yell out your answer. What do you think it is, A or B? I pick B. B, he would rather be incredibly smart. All right, okay. All right, next question. Would you rather A, hold a snake for an hour, or B, have a giant spider loose in your bedroom at night? All right, kids, what, what do you choose, A or B? All right, go ahead, tell them what you choose. I would rather do A. A, hold a snake for an hour. <laughs> yeah. All right, so if you guess A, you are correct. All right, our next question is, would you rather have a week-long vacation wherever you want to go, or B, get unlimited carry-out meals at your favorite restaurant for one whole month? All right, kids, what do you think he's going to say? A or B, shout it out. All right, what's your, what's your choice? I would rather have A, go on vacation. Nice, nice. All right, so if you said A, you are correct. Woo, all right. Next question. Would you rather have super strength, A, or B, have super speed? All right, kids, what do you think Mr. Doug's going to say? A, super strength, or B, super speed? Yell it out! All right, go ahead and give us your answer. I would rather have B, super speed, ah. because I already have super strength. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you said B, you are correct. All right, last question. Mr. Doug, would you rather have a million dollars or... B, have a penny that doubles every day for 30 days. All right, kids, what do you think he'll choose? A, a million dollars, or B, a penny that doubles every day for 30 days? All right, Mr. Doug, give us your answer. I would rather have the penny that doubles. Oh, good choice, good choice, because interesting fact is, that would equal five million three hundred sixty-eight dollars and set or three a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> that would equal five million three hundred sixty-eight thousand seven hundred and nine dollars and twelve cents. Wow! All right, thank you, Mr. Doug, for playing with us today. All right, kids, we are going to go ahead and we're going to dive into our Bible story today. Our new topic for the month is determination. And determination is deciding it's worth finishing what you started. Hmm, that's very interesting. All right, so we're picking up God's big story after Jesus died on the cross and came back to life. In the book of Matthew, we see how Jesus told his disciples to go to a mountain in Galilee. The disciples didn't know why Jesus wanted them to go to the mountain or what would happen once they got there. Hey, y'all, tell the good news! <laughs> but they trusted Jesus and did what he said. Jesus appeared to the disciples on the mountain. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some still had their doubts. The disciples had Je seen Jesus do all those amazing things, but some of them still thought it seemed too good to be true that he could have risen from the dead. Jesus knew what was in their hearts, and he told them this. This is from Matthew 28, 18. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given 
to me. You see, Jesus wanted to remind his friends that he is the Son of God. Hey, dude, tell the good news. <laughs> Nothing is impossible for him, but he didn't stop there. He gave the disciples a new mission. Jesus told his disciples to be teachers. He wanted them to tell everyone about him. Here is what Jesus said. This is from Matthew 18, 19, and 20. So you must go and make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. Hola, muchachos. Tell the good news. Whoa, that is a big job, telling all the nations about Jesus. The disciples were a small group of people. How would they be able to tell the whole world what Jesus had done? They must have been wondering, how could they even begin this mission? Jesus' followers returned to Jerusalem. One day, Jesus led them to a hill outside the city near Bethany. On that day, Jesus was eating a meal with his disciples. That might seem like an odd detail to include in the Bible, but it shows us that Jesus really was alive. They weren't dreaming. Jesus was really back from the dead, living, breathing, and even eating like you and me. Roar! Tell the good news! Jesus told them that very soon God was going to do something special for them. <laughs> Jesus promised the disciples that God would give them a gift. A gift that would help them, help them accomplish their big mission of telling the world about him. All right, this is from Acts 1, 4 and 5. Do not leave Jerusalem, Jesus said. Wait for the gift my father promised. You have heard me talk about it. John baptized with, with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Jesus went on to say this. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Then you will tell people about me in Jerusalem and in, in Judea and Samaria. And you will even tell other people about me from one end of the earth to another. Tell the good news. <laughs> He's very determined, isn't he? After Jesus told the disciples that they would soon have the help of the Holy Spirit, something amazing happened. Jesus went up to heaven. This is found in Acts 1-9. The apostles watched until a cloud hid them from their sight. Then suddenly two men dressed in white clothing stood beside the disciples. The men were angels. The angels asked the disciples why they were just standing there watching the sky. After all, the disciples had a job to do. People needed to hear about what Jesus had done. And it was time to get started. There's one more part to the story for today. Jesus had told his, the disciples to wait in Jerusalem because soon God would be sending the Holy Spirit to help them. So that's what they did. They waited. Tell the good news! Jesus had given his followers what seemed to be an impossible job. He had told them to share his story and his love with every nation across the world. The disciples had no idea where to start, but Jesus promised he would send them a gift to help. So they waited in Jerusalem for the Holy Spirit to come. They trusted that God would give them exactly what they needed to begin 
their mission. Here's the coolest part of all. Jesus has given us the same mission that he gave the disciples. He wants us to tell others about him. We are all part of his big story. We're continuing the work that the disciples began. And we know that God will help us keep going, even when it seems impossible. And our bottom line for today is that we should keep going even when it seems impossible. So what that means for us is keep going when we're sad that we can't play sports or be with our teammates or do the activities that we like to do. That means keep going even when we're angry at our brother or sister or our parents. That means keep going when we're frustrated with our remote learning and we can't be at school with our friends. That means keep going even when we're sad and we can't hang out with our friends. That means keep going even when we feel lonely. Remember kids, determination, it is deciding it's worth finishing what you started. And as we saw from our Bible story today, the disciples were determined to tell others about Jesus, the good news about Jesus. And we can remember that too. We can share his love and we can tell others about him. All right, so we've got a special treat for you guys. Tanea Egan and her family are gonna sing He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Take care. So we welcome you to worship if you've got little ones with you or we've all been young. We all remember learning this song. He's got the whole world in his hands. We're gonna do some movements and motions for that one. So here we go. Nice. All right, get your arms ready. He's got 